Hello students. In today's video, we are going to understand the concept of therapeutic index. This video is 16th in the series of videos on pharmacodynamics. Now, as we all know, when a drug is administered orally, the concentration of drug increases in the blood. Now, look at this figure. Here, yellow color liquid is the plasma. The figure depicts gradual increase in the plasma drug concentration and that is depicted by the gradual increase in the yellow color. Now, this is the minimum effective plasma concentration of drug that produces the therapeutic effect. Now, below this concentration, the drug is ineffective. This is the minimum toxic plasma concentration of drug that produces maximum acceptable adverse effects. As the concentration of drug further increases, the drug becomes more and more toxic and it is unacceptable for the usage. Now, aim of therapy is to provide safe and effective therapy with minimum adverse effects. Uh, so, in a very simple language, therapeutic index is the ratio that compares toxic plasma concentration to effective plasma concentration of drug. So, this is the therapeutic index. Larger is the therapeutic index, safer is the drug. Now, look at this figure. There is a very small difference between effective concentration of drug that produces the therapeutic effect and toxic, toxic concentration of drug that produces the toxicity. So, a small increase in the concentration of drug or small increase in the dose that produces the therapeutic effect can cause toxicity. So, these type of drugs, they have a narrow therapeutic index and they must be administered or dosed very carefully because difference between the two concentration is very small. So, therapeutic index determines safety margin of drug. Now, in case of narrow therapeutic index, the drug once administered should be monitored closely for the signs of drug toxicity which could be immediately treated. Now, these type of drugs exhibit uh, low safety margin of drug. Few examples of uh, drugs with narrow therapeutic index are uh, digoxin, theophylline, warfarin, etc. Now, look at this figure. There is a huge difference. There is a huge difference between the effective concentration of drug that produces therapeutic effect and concentration that produces the toxicity. So, these drugs are the safe drugs and they exhibit high safety margin. For example, acetaminophen also called as paracetamol, ibuprofen, then macrolide antibiotics like azithromycin, then quinolones like ciprofloxacin. Now, let's talk about the clinical therapeutic index and pharmacological therapeutic index. Now, knowledge of clinical therapeutic index is important in clinical practice dealing with the patients. While pharmacological therapeutic index is determined during experimental animal studies. Now, let's first talk about the clinical therapeutic index. Now, look at this figure. Now, these curves are the dose response curve. Now, this DRC represents therapeutic effect while this DRC it depicts adverse effects. Now, therapeutic effect as well as adverse effects are studied in a set of human patient population. Now, percentage of patients showing response, either therapeutic response or adverse effects are plotted on the y-axis, while log dose is plotted on the x-axis. Now, this is the dose ED50 that is effective dose 50 that produces desired therapeutic response in 50% of the population. And this is TD50 that is a toxic dose 50 that produces toxicity or adverse effects in 50% of the population. Now, clinical therapeutic index is the ratio of dose that produces toxicity to the dose that produces therapeutic effect in 50% of the population. So, clinical therapeutic index is equal to the ratio of TD50 to ED50. Now, as discussed earlier, therapeutic index predicts 
safety margin of the drug larger is this therapeutic index safer is the drug now let's understand a uh, pharmacological therapeutic index determined during experimental animal studies now look at this figure responses or effects are studied in animals and three type of responses are studied therapeutic effect toxic effect and the lethal effect lethal effect is a effect that causes death of animal now as as explained earlier responses are studied in a set of animal population percentage of animal showing response are plotted on the y axis and log dose on the x axis now these responses are the dose response curves or the drcs now this drc represents therapeutic effect produced in animal this drc represents toxic effect produced in animal and this drc represents a lethal effects produced in animals that is the dose that causes death of animal now ed50 uh, this is the ed50 ed50 is the median effective dose it is a median effective dose that uh, produces desired therapeutic effect in 50% of animals so ed50 is the dose that produces the desired therapeutic effect in 50% of animals while ld50 is the median lethal dose that kills 50% of the animal population now pharmacological therapeutic index is the ratio between median lethal dose and median effective dose that is pharmacological therapeutic index is the ratio between ld50 and ed50 wider is this therapeutic index safer is a drug so this is in brief on the concept of therapeutic index please note that the information provided in this video is meant exclusively for students from their examination point of view please do not use this information for the clinical purpose if you find the video useful kindly like subscribe and share this video thanks for watching this video